We're going out. We're on the move. We're gonna go see if any of these guys can develop a social link, but I doubt it. Just because On's gonna be ranked 10 and she would have like a special text if she was. And Yusuke, I highly doubt. We'll just have to wait for now. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. I will have to decline. Let's go see what Yusuke is up to. What's up, dude? By the way. <laughs> nope, I'm not ready either. I see. By the way. I wanna have him make another counter for me. Okay. Any new jobs? What are your thoughts? Nope. Let's work on the kindness then. We'll work. What do you want to do? Actually, hold on. I just remembered it's Sunday. There's the uh the drink. In the walkway, yeah. The special Sunday drink, whatever that we have yet to do. Yeah, here we go. Let's see this. Wow. Arjiru. Every week we have a different kind of Arjiru. Looks like today's will improve your charm, though you probably don't need it right now. Nope, don't need it. Well, at least we know now that it kind of alternates. Go back to the mall. Juke. What do you want to do? I will work here. Money. Wow, we're rich. You did great. How are you feeling? Hmm. Nice little kindness boost. Still not maxed though. Wow, we're almost done with everything. Wanna head back? Oh yeah, we can do the the big bang burger thing now. Cause our proficiency is maxed. Ah, you're back. There are burgers to be eaten. Go back streets. Whoops, that's where I was. I literally just warped right to where I was. Let's go to Shibuya. Right. Yeah, here we go. I request a giant burger. I will take your challenge, mortal. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming again. Please do your best to complete your objective, second mate. Now then. Well then, it's time to get the 30 minute Big Bang Challenge started. Ready? Go. Don't get too hasty, just work out at your own pace and you'll do it. Let's fucking go. I somehow ate the whole damn thing. You've done it again. Congratulations. Congrats on completing this challenge since you managed to crush the gravity burger. I present to you the first mate badge. And to the burger baron who defeated this challenge we present to you, a world famous Big Bang Burger on the house. We hope you enjoy the taste of victory. Let's fucking go. Sure your new rank is first mate, however one mission still remains. Oh, is this the burger that's gonna take all of the social skills maxed? <laughs> Only two for that? That's rigged. Nice. 
Oh? Oh, this is proficiency, isn't it? Knowledge, okay. There's charm. It's giving us all the skills we already have maxed. Wanna head back? Get everything but kindness, but hey, we're, we're moving up in the world. I found an awesome magazine. I'll bring it to the hideout. You have tomorrow off for health and sports day, right? I'll definitely get your adrenaline pumping. I really want to re read it, but I'll wait till tomorrow. But if you're busy, then I'll do that first and I'll wait. See ya. Guess Futaba's coming here to show some magazine tomorrow. Sounds like fun, but I'm going to bed. Medicine is nearly complete, and there's something I really want to test out. Could you come to the clinic? Jeez. Stop checking your phone while you're eating. Just concentrate on your food. Mm. Well, let's finish it and then send a reply once we go upstairs. Hey. Well, let's go see what Futaba wants. I'm gonna chill here today. I haven't brought some PC mags to kill time. Oh, I have enough for you, by the way. There's something seriously igneous stuff in- There's some seriously- Yeah, whatever. Your magazines for- Deep my bond with her. Hey. Yeah, sounds fine. Right. We'll deepen our bond with her. Okay, today's a readathon. Mm -hmm. Holy crap, this mouse is so big. A two-handed mouse. That's nuts. And this keyboard is too curvy. How do you even type on this thing? Man, nice. This PC build competition is right up my alley. Have you ever built your own PC before? Of course. I'm playing on it. Huh? Really? Oh, you're even more of a techie than I thought. You might even be a PC master. What were the specs? What CPU did you use? How much RAM did you put in? Oh, did you, did you overclock it? How'd you handle cooling? We should go to Akiba together sometime. It's getting pretty late. Hey. I don't want to go home yet. You have stuff to do after this? Want some coffee? Really? I'm glad you asked. Gotta love coffee. The smell alone is enough to kick the sleepies in the butt. And we get the really good coffee that restores 100 SP. Oh god, it's coming. Sorry for messaging you all early in the morning. It seems my father will be holding an urgent press conference. Finally had his change of heart. I don't know about that. To at least lift some of the burden on Haru's shoulders. For real? Congrats. When is that going to be? 8 p.m. tonight. I wonder if he'll talk about the mental shutdowns. Where should we watch it? How do we get together beforehand? Sounds good. I don't really have a reason for meeting up, but I still might. But it still might prove beneficial. Anyway, how does Shujin Academy rooftop sound? I actually happen to have some business up there. Sounds good to me. It's been ages since I was last there. Wait, the school? Futaba, make sure you come in through the front entrance. See you all there after school. Mm -hmm. Wait, where's Yusuke? If he's still asleep at this point, he's definitely going to be late for school. He's been kidnapped.
One week left until exams. You have no problems. You'll have no problems if you've been studying regularly this semester, or if you have your knowledge maxed out. That aside, Okamura Foods has been a hot topic lately. This much media coverage must be worth at least 10 million yen. At first, I even thought all this. I haven't thought that all this outcry was just some kind of elaborate marketing campaign. I guess it's given them too much of a bad image to be that, though. Advertising and public image are more important than anything else for a corporation. Are you familiar with the psychological test using these images? The idea is to give two shapes names appropriate to their appearance. People were asked to name one of these kinds of shapes Booba, but the other Kiki. Which name was most common, commonly ascribed to shape B? Uh, the guy says Booba, so I'm going with Booba. This is it. Yes. That's correct. Most people name B Booba and A Kiki. Sharp sounds like K and T are linked to a spiky image. According to one theory, sounds and shapes are processed in the same area of the brain. Furthermore, this sense is the same worldwide. No matter the language, the result is the same. Nice going. Oh god, it's gonna happen. Oh, the dude's gonna die. today it's finally lunchtime man I'm really in the mood for some bread today do cats eat bread hey, can I speak with you for a moment so about dr. Maruki's counseling you've already gone to see him right I have I see that's good then I'm sure you're aware but dr. Maruki's term here will be ending pretty soon the higher-ups told me to make sure you've received adequate counseling. Be sure to visit him so you don't bring any unwanted attention to yourself, okay? Counseling, eh? But anyway, let's go get lunch. Bring on the bread! Again, do cats eat bread? Uh, senpai! So nice to see you! Have you been? I've been doing quite well. Are you also about to eat lunch, senpai? If it's all right with you, would you mind eating together? Good idea. Ah, how nice to see you two together. Oh, would you like to join us for lunch, Dr. Maruki? We were just discussing eating together. Are you sure? Well, maybe I will tag along then. Um, is that... Your lunch, Yoshizawa-san? Well, she is an athlete. That doesn't really... I have to eat this much to stay active. I always burn through everything I eat. From my point of view, it's your two lunches that are the issue here. If you're going to strengthen your body, you have to eat right. You should really work on your diets. <laughs> Touché. And you're right, yours does look nutritious. You know, you seem to be giving off a different vibe lately. Yes, I was able to put my problems in the past and move on. Ah, so that's what it is. You don't seem to be overexerting yourself either. I'm sorry I'd worried you. Oh, not at all. It's wonderful to hear how you've been. I must admit, I'm a bit surprised. If you don't mind my asking, was there some kind of reason for this breakthrough? I just had a breakthrough. His, I don't know if I pointed this out before in the series, but his voice actor is the guy who voiced Ferdinand in Three Houses. I recognize that voice now. It just now hit me. Well, it's all thanks to him and his acquaintances. I suppose you could say they gave me a reason to rethink things, or more like a reason to stand up to my problems. Isn't that right, Senpai? That's right. Stand up to your problems, eh? You've grown to be very strong, Yoshizawa-san. Mm-hmm. I'm totally over it now. Sorry for talking so much, 
Why don't we focus on our lunches? Thanks for the food! Oh, I forgot. I have P.E. next. I should get going. Please excuse me. Yoshizawa-san really does seem to have found her footing. She seemed absolutely tormented about her situation just the other day. I have to say, this drastic change has really knocked me for a loop. Perhaps the Phantom Thieves changed her heart? Anything's possible. <laughs> I was just joking. Looks like time's up. You should head back to class as well. See you around. Hmm. Wonder what's up with him. You want to meet up at the rooftop after school, yeah? Rooftop? What is this about? Oh yeah, you weren't there. Can you come to our school rooftop after your classes today? I don't quite understand what is going on, but sure. Is Haru at school? I'm heading over now. Things were a little hectic this morning. I'll be there before classes end for the day. That reminds me, your flower bed is on the rooftop. Flower bed? That's right, the season is good, so I'm thinking of transplanting them sometime soon. Flowers are an excellent hobby. I will gladly assist you. We'll help too. Really, thanks. All right, I'll see you all of you after school. So you're the one who grew these, senpai. <laughs> you can just call me Haru. The seasons are changing soon, so I thought it'd be nice for the plants to change as well. This time, it's a Yusuke Kitagawa production. All I did was add some... how do I put it? Aesthetic simplicity by balancing the color placement. Furthermore, Haru chose the flowers herself. It will surely be a great bed no matter the arrangement. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Why don't we plant you, Mona? Weren't you a shut-in until just recently? You'd better photosynthesize while you're here. Well, let's get started. Perhaps the snapdragon should go two more millimeters to the left. That's not gonna make a difference. Hey, you know how we're thinking of the school festival as our celebration party? Anyone else think we should have a real celebration on top of that? I must agree. It would be not only a celebration, but a welcoming as well. I'd like to do something among ourselves. Let's do it then! A joint party to celebrate and to welcome Haru! Oh, you don't have to do that. The school festival is more than enough. How is everyone else supposed to get excited if the star of the party's not into it? Well then, how about a night party at Destinyland? By Destiny Land, do you mean that Kingdom of Dreams? It would be a bit late, but there are some plans that allow us to rent out the park for the night. The entire park? You're talking about THE Destiny Land, right? Didn't you say you'd like to do something amongst ourselves? I did, but... Hold on, I'll go check. She really thinks like a celebrity. Is she gonna check? That was fast. Guys, it looks like it will work. You're really gonna have it at Destiny Land? Not like one of the restaurants, but the entire park? Even just for one night, the price is insane. Oh, that won't be a problem. We had originally booked it for a company party, then had to call it off because of the scandal. We'd barely get anything back if we canceled the reservation. So why not take advantage of it? Wouldn't that be oddly conspicuous, though? It's still officially under the company's name. We needn't worry. In that case, let's do this. We'll just celebrate twice as hard today. I'm sorry for disrupting everyone. You did come to help me after all. Well, let's get back to it. So uh, seriously, how much does it cost? For real? Seems like we'll be having our celebration at Destiny Land tonight. It's like Japanese Disneyland. Oh yeah, it totally is. 
The food was arranged on my plate as though it were paint on a canvas. The staff brought out this table and food just for us, huh? I thought if we were going to dine together, it would be better to do it somewhere with a view. The VIP life is incredible! Not that I'd expect anything else from a private rental. There really is no one else here. We are the rulers of the Kingdom of Dreams! Is this lighting just for our sake as well? That's right. It's beautiful. It's not as beautiful as you. That's the kind of stuff couples say, right? <laughs> Almost anyone would fall for that line in front of a site like this. Lady On, this view is not as oh, beautiful boy. as... Come on, you guys are getting way too excited about this stuff. <sighs> Sniped. You say that like you're not tapping into your inner child too, Ryuji. This is just because Futaba kept nagging me to put him on. I did not. You said something like that. Ryuji, you're the adult. Well, yeah, but... Whoa, look at you being all obedient. Is the Destiny Land charm rubbing off on you? <laughs> My, this is so heartwarming. Honestly, I would have liked to see the parade as well. But given how sudden the request was, they couldn't get enough staff together to do it. Perhaps that will have to wait until next time. Either way, this party's totally the best one so far. It's freaking amazing! I'm glad to see you're enjoying it. Be careful, Haru. You've shown these guys what luxury means. This will really raise the bar for our next celebration party. You're already talking about our next party? Don't you think that's somewhat premature? <laughs> See, you are getting too insane. That party will be for me! Still... How do I put this? I met Mona-chan. I got to know you all. Isn't everything going a little too perfectly? It's yep. actually a bit frightening. Yep, something's about to happen. You worry too much. I must just be overly cautious because of my circumstances up till recently. I'm sorry for bringing it up. Hey, isn't it almost time? You know, for the press conference? We don't have like a TV you can watch it on? Father. Thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules to gather here. Today, I- Wait, how is he still alive? ...on the whole truth behind my company's labor situation. How my employees were forced to work under severe conditions. How lax we were with sanitation. And how my corporation acted as a whole to cover up every facet of this scandal. For all of this, I wholeheartedly apologize. So are you saying all of this was done under your orders? Yes. I am solely responsible. We heard that dozens of your employees were forced to resign due to mysterious illness. Furthermore, these happened to be officials who stood against your proposal for overseas expansion. The same thing also happened to executives at competing companies who were looking to expand abroad. Is all of this true? Yes. Was it all coincidence? We'd like some answers. About that. I have a critical piece of information to announce here today. Oh, this is where it's gonna happen. Here it comes. Okuma is going to say who's really behind the mental shutdowns. Oh, uh, no, he's not. I don't think he is. I. Yeah, there it is. Kumura-san? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh god, it's happened. Huh? F father Why did he collapse? It 
didn't look right at all. <sighs> Don't tell me. Mama-chan, what's going on? No, that's impossible. What the fuck happened? I want to know that myself. We made sure we just took the treasure too. I should call home. This, this isn't our fault, is it? It's been okay all four times so far, ever since Kamoshida. If we let the shadow live, the real person won't undergo mental shutdown, right? That's how it should work. Yeah, it's gotta be. <sighs> What's wrong? Th this is the same. I remember now. It's just like what happened to my mom. So this is the moment when mental shutdown occurs. But why did they target Okumura-san? Damn it! What the hell's going on here? Um, I have to go. I'll talk to the staff before I leave. Feel free to take your time. Haru! This ain't our fault, right? I'd like to think so. Some welcoming party, huh? I'll get in contact with Haru later. But for today, I think we should all return home. Uh, oh, that's annoying. What are you watching? That's... This is just a hypothesis. But perhaps Okumura was bitten by his lapdog. Are you implying that the Phantom Thieves triggered a sudden mental shutdown on Okumura? There might have been a falling out of sorts, so the Phantom Thieves abandoned a useless employer. And to cover their tracks, they dealt with Okumura. Oh, you fucking asshole. I hate to bring this up, but I'm actually here about that. Did you find any evidence? No. Actually, there's a chance that the party behind these aren't the Phantom Thieves, but someone else. How do you mean? You were suspecting the Phantom Thieves as well. It is still hypothetical at this point, but I don't want to rule it out. We're searching the Okumura residence tomorrow. Same with Shujin and its principal. We will find evidence on this, no matter what it takes. By the way, I wanted to ask you something. Yes? You haven't looked at my laptop or taken files from it without my permission, have you? That's quite out of the blue. There were traces that someone transferred data from it. It was only a small error pop up, but I noticed it immediately after I had that argument with you last month. Yeah, boy. And that's why you suspect me? Oh, please, give me a break. Are you saying you didn't? As a detective myself, I honor the value of information as well as the effort invested in it. I take pride in what I do. I thought you of all people would understand such values, Sai Sun. No, he didn't like that. But then, who stole my data? <sighs> I let my guard down. They're mine. I'm the one who will catch them. Did you see the news? Did you see? He collapsed during the interview. This is serious. That was gruesome. Wish they put some sort of warning on the video. They said President Okumura died. Really? Well, you're right. I just saw the news report about it. Oh boy, we're fucked. We're fucked. Abandon shit. Run. So about Haru's dad, uh, the news said it was a cardiac arrest. There's a chance he'll pull through, right? I hate to say this, but usually after such a report, the only thing that follows is a confirmation of death. No. Haru. Why is this happening? Can someone die simply from having a mental shutdown? I don't know. I suppose it's possible that the shot could kill a person. Haru did mention her father wasn't in the best of health, but for him to just up and die? This has got to be some kind of joke. Are we responsible for his death? But I thought it was supposed to be fine as long as we didn't kill their shadow. <laughs> Ain't that what you said, Morgana? It should have been okay. It should have been. He says it should have been okay. There's no point getting mad at Mona for this. I heard the same thing too, you know? In any case, let's compose ourselves for now. We need to act normally in public. But keep Haru in our minds. This doesn't make any sense. Why 
why he suffered a mental shutdown is one thing, but what are we supposed to do from here on out? We run. We go to America. Haru's gonna be fine, right? Can I go out? Let's go to bed. Nope. Gotta sleep. All right. Oh, this is weird. I don't like this. What's happening? No oh boy, we're back. Igor is gonna be like, what the fuck? On your feet, inmate. Our master has an important matter to discuss with you. Heed his words well. First, I'd like to congratulate you for expelling the one proud of their greed. Or so I'd like to say, but something odd seems to have happened. It wasn't our fault. I know this, of course. However, what of the general public? It seems a contingency has occurred. At this rate, your rehabilitation cannot be completed. Though I doubt that will be the case. I truly look forward to seeing how you overcome this predicament. Yeah, I am too. I want to know how we get through this. Rank 9. Are we almost done with this game? All right. Your full confidant is increased to rank 9. We shall meet again. Time's up, inmate. Hurry up and return to your world. Yep, there it goes. Only dropped twenty percent though. True? Okamura died. It's all over the news. He collapsed during his press conference, right? I wish I'd been watching when it happened. You're probably better off. It was a total disaster. I never imagined seeing a heart attack would be so unsettling. The news says it was because of illness, but either way, you spin it. Still bizarre. Damn, wish I'd seen it live. Listen this time, okay? And in this age, proletarian literature, that is, literature written, written by working class. Did you see that interview? I thought it was going to be some hidden camera show at first. I was so scared I changed the channel. He really looked like he was in pain. That was sick. Will you quiet down? We're in class right now. Not to mention you have midterm starting on Monday. Focus on studying. Hmm, seems police have shown up at her school. The police? What for? Your sister hasn't told you about any of this. Nothing at all. Could this be related to Okamura's death in some way? Oh, there's no connection between our school and Okamura Foods. Think they came to talk to Haru? She's absent today. And seriously, what are they here for? I can't even begin to fathom the reason. Anyhow, let's be particularly careful not to stand out. And head straight home once school ends. Understand that, everyone? We haven't found anything useful as evidence. I see. We're hoping to find something more than the calling card, too. We've confirmed the victim's connection to the Phantom Thieves, at least. Thank you for your cooperation. Speaking? Huh? They found a calling card in the principal's office, too. What? I'm sorry to ask again, but your father hadn't said anything about the Phantom Thieves, correct? That's right. Please contact me if something catches your attention. It doesn't matter how trivial it seems. You don't have to force yourself, though. Just anything that comes to mind. Wait, how'd the calling card get in the principal's office? Oh, because it was given through the principal. No one told me about that. Oh, boy. Oh, we're being set up so hard. So basically, your group didn't go after Okumura's life. And even the death of Shujin's principal, who we found a calling card for, was the work of another. 
You don't sound like you're lying. If you wanted to deceive me, you could have easily woven up a much simpler lie than this metaverse. Moreover, your account coincides with my own investigation. Is that even possible if it were made up? And I hate to admit, but with my line of work, I know a false testimony when I hear one. Still, if you set your sights on Okumura based on my intel, it'd be before his name was even ranked. You could have ignored him and targeted some other famous person. Why would you go so far as to further investigate and pursue this criminal? My teammate was in danger. <laughs> Simple enough. There's still no proof that another suspect exists. That said, it's safe enough to say that you aren't the murdering type. Only rank five with her, though. All right. But with the subsequent deaths of Okumura and Shujin's principal, the public's opinion changed. Pressed to prove your innocence, your next objective was... Hmm? What's the matter? <sighs> Is it a side effect? What in the world did the police inject into you? My vision is starting to get distorted. You need to stay focused. <sighs> Don't scare me like that. If what you're saying is true, you must tell your side of the story to the end. We'll both be in trouble if your testimony becomes unreliable. <sighs> well then, let's move on. At last, we arrive at your most recent crime. Oh? Oh, we're almost caught up. You know what I mean, don't you? This calling card was delivered to your latest target. The one you had decided would prove your innocence. It was addressed to Sai Nijima. Myself. Now, explain everything to me. Whoa. So she was our next target. Int what? Interesting. How does changing her... Oh, to get her to drop the case, maybe. But that wouldn't change anything. Someone else would step up and take that case. Like, catchy. Has anyone been able to contact Haru? I haven't. No luck here. Me neither. She won't pick up. Doesn't look like she's seen any of our chats, either. I'm worried about her. So what the fuck is going to happen to Akechi? Because he's in on the case also. So it wouldn't make sense to go after Sai if Akechi would just pick it up. So something's going to happen to Akechi, I think. Can I make stuff? Okay. Let's make some more lockpicks. Actually, no. Can we make the perma pick? Nope. Liquid mercury, huh? Yeah. I just need the lock picks. I don't get any proficiency <laughs> for this. Yes. Yeah. I'm surprised the the survey only dropped by a little. I thought it would plummet. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it's still dropping. Oh, Josh. My apologies for messaging you so early in the morning. Things have calmed down a bit at home, so I thought there's something I need to tell you. Are you alright? Yes. Thank you. Um, there's actually something that's caught my attention. I think I need to discuss it with everyone, though. We should meet at the hideout after school. Looks like Haru is managing. Somehow. Alright. Let's meet up with everyone after school.
With this, preparations are finally in place. The public has praised them as allies of justice before they strike them back to the ground. Now then, she'll be next. Yes, I've already spoken to Human Resources about it. It will be a heavy responsibility, but I'm certain it'd be an honor for her. The culprits behind the mental shutdown cases she's been pursuing all this time. <laughs> Indeed, they'll become the criminals we've set them up to be, just as you instructed. She's the one that called us, so she'll show up eventually. Well, even though things have calmed down, she must be occupied with what happened to her father. Wait, what? But what's up? People are posting that we killed President Okumura. So it's begun already. What? Think about it. The CEO collapsed the way he did during an apology conference that our group caused. Still! They were raving about us so much, and now they just treat us like murderers? What a lightning fast change of attitude. They don't know a damn thing about our situation. Calm down. Not everyone is necessarily saying that. But there's no way to vindicate ourselves. <clears throat> I'm sorry I'm late. I'm the one who asked you all to make time for me, too. My condolences. Must be rough. I'm okay now. Um, I called everyone together because there was something worrying me. Did you all target the principal? Huh? The principal? You mean ours? Yes. What makes you say that? Yesterday, a public prosecutor came to my home. Um, it was a woman named Nijima-san. That's... I overheard her saying a calling card was found in the principal's office. Considering that this was right after what happened, it's got to be Shujin's. It's the first I've heard of it! Doesn't this all seem weird to you? It may just be my imagination, but I feel as if... Things are escalating far too quickly after President Okumura's incident. What do you mean? Perhaps... We may have been set up by the real culprit. For real? That could be. Then we need to catch them as soon as possible. Hold a moment. Can we assume we've been set up, though? We don't even know their objective. What else are we supposed to do, then? Let's... All calm down for a moment. From what Haru said, even the police are suspecting that the Phantom Thieves are murderers. It wouldn't be wise to carelessly make a move at the moment. We need to act as normal students for now. In addition, we have midterms next week. Exams? At a time like this? <sighs> I envy you, Futaba. Futaba? Hmm? Got something on my mind. Gonna go home and look into it. Okay, bye. Could be. At any rate, we need to behave and not draw attention to ourselves. Understood? This is ridiculous. Why are people doubting the Phantom Thieves over what happened to President Okumura? They'd never do such a thing. Isn't that right? Absolutely. Yeah, I trust them. Anyway, it seems like everyone's forgotten that they've done all that they've done up to this point. That won't stop me though. I'll continue cheering them on. Make sure you tell them that. Well, see you later. Shima is a bit narrow-sighted, but he's a good person deep down. 
We can't betray him. It's evening, though. Just make coffee. Start farming SP. Yes, all right. Let me explain. Mexican Altura. Coffee was said to be brought into Mexico by the Spanish in the 18th century. Mexico is now one of the world's largest coffee producers. Altura meaning height in Spanish. Describes the altitude that the beans were grown. It has a savory aroma, soft acidity, and nutty flavor. Yeah. Mm. Well then. Shit's hitting the fan. Yeah, there it goes down again. I'm sorry for worrying all of you. I won't be able to respond for a little while longer. You don't need to remind us. More importantly, are you doing all right? I'm okay. I'm more worried about the people at the company, to be honest. It seems everyone's having difficulty with not only clients, but the press as well. They're even handling the preparations for my father's funeral. I just feel so guilty that I'm unable to help out at all. You shouldn't. Everyone understands that this is a trying time for you. And we're here if anything happens. I know, I'll get in touch once the scene settle down. We'll be waiting. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bless that girl. Worrying about others even at a time like this. Impossible. Who on earth set us up? Does anyone have any ideas? Of course not. If I were to guess, I would say the culprit behind the mental shutdowns. But how do we even know we got set up to begin with? They found a calling card in Principal Kobayakawa's office. Someone else had to have planted that, obviously. In worst case scenario, it's possible they know our identities. This is bad, guys. Yes, our state of affairs is looking quite bleak. Let's prove our innocence. How are we gonna do that, though? Looks like our only choice now is to find the true culprit. Although we don't have any leads. Damn it, why has this gotta happen to us? <sighs> I wish we could prove our innocence, but we can't afford to make a dumb mistake and get ourselves caught. We'll just have to keep laying low and wait. Let's not do anything conspicuous, okay? Sorry for bringing this up when things are so chaotic. I know it's been tough after what happened to President Okamura and all, but this is the perfect time for smaller changes of heart to restore your reputation. Anyway, here's the info I have. If true, this one is pretty crazy. Apparently an ex-mercenary who works as an assassin is hiding out in Shibuya underground. He acts like a homeless person during the day, but then goes about his work at night. He hasn't left any trace of his identity though, so there's nothing that the police can do. Sounds dangerous, right? I can't breathe easily. I can't breathe easy knowing he's out there. Well, according to the rumors, his name is Yohai Kiritani. I'm seriously scared. I don't want to do anything with this. I'm leaving this to you, the dropouts. Mishima really does get some amazing info for us sometimes. Our reputation may have taken a hit after Okamura's death, but we can still prove our justice in mementos. We should discuss this with everyone when we have time. Oh, and we have to meet up with Haru before we can go in. Exams are coming up. Have your studies been going well? I can give you a general idea of what they'll be like when I was a second year. What do you think? Want to study together? Watching...
Hmm. I don't know. Let's go check the library first. I don't really know what to do right now. What would you like? Wait. D Dressed in ashes. Charmed life. Yeah, fuck it. Just keep working on the books. Oh. Nothing else to really do. Phantom thieves killed someone. It's all over the news. I have another report to make. Do you have a bit of time? Let's decide later. Oh, that was the only one. Okay, I thought there was one other. Yeah, let's do it. That was from uh, Akiyama. He said he wants me to stop by. Apparently he's pretty close. Sounded serious. I don't think we should ignore him. Can you come with me? Akiyama? Ashima? Ah, oh, there's our guy. Look, Akiyama says he's not going to be able to pay up this month. How about you spot him? That's what friends are for, right? Friends? Huh, you guys ain't friends? Don't try to mess with us, Akiyama. This loser is supposed to be the friend. Who is going to help you? You don't got anything to do with this little bitch, Akiyama. I suggest you get out of here. Come on, Toru. Looks like we're just going to have to have a nice chat with that girlfriend of his. Please, no, I'm begging you. Sorry, but you broke our promise. Now she's going to be the one to pay us back, if you catch my drift. This is just what you get for trying to screw us over. You're so cruel, Yuda. I'm not leaving. <laughs> Are you sure? I don't want to get you involved. Though having you here is definitely reassuring. I think I have an idea. It's risky, but it just might work. If anything happens to me, take care of Akiyama. <laughs> Gosh, crap, I bit my tongue. You're still here? Run away, you idiot. You better lay off of Akiyama-kun. I've been taking a video of this whole conversation. Huh? If you do anything to Akiyama or his girlfriend, I'll bring it straight to the police. Oh, and don't get any ideas about breaking my phone. It backs up to the cloud automatically. What should we do? We'll be fine. The police ain't gonna do shit because of a stupid little video. Why don't you run along home to your anime girls? We don't got time to deal with losers like you. You're just gonna take that? You're right. Eh? What the hell? Look, I know you guys are supposed to be tough and all, but are you sure it's really worth getting arrested again over something like this? I mean, this video is definitely enough to get you guys busted given your previous criminal records. How'd you know about that? It doesn't matter how. Just leave Akiyama alone and we'll be even. Then, if you keep your word, I'll delete the video. The backup, too. You'll delete them now. No. I've had enough of this shit. Man, I thought I was going to have a heart attack. My whole act would have broken down if they didn't back off when they did. I really suck, huh? You were super cool. Hmm? You think even if I peed in my pants a little? The truth is, I've dealt with enough bullying to know guys like that have probably been arrested at least once. <laughs> oh, and thanks for sticking by me. We can't let injustice like that go unchecked. I think I get it now. This spoon is what made me want to help you guys to begin with. That's why I started the fan site. To make sure that nobody has to go through stuff like this again. A 
All right. <sighs> Kim, are you okay? It looks like they really laid it on you. Why'd you help me? Huh? You didn't need to get involved. Sorry. Sorry. Looks like you're really in trouble, though, so I stepped up. Said so. Anyway, can you walk? Do you need us to call an ambulance? I'm fine. Just go. Oh. All right. Come on. Well, see you later. Oh, sorry. Are you okay to talk right now? The panic is finally kicking in. I'm shaking so bad. I need to talk to someone. Hey, you think it'll be okay? What if those guys secretly followed me home? Oh, but I have the model gun I got for self-defense. And my security system's top of the line, so I'm safe, right? You'll be fine. Where does all that confidence come from? Oh, but I do feel a little calmer now that I got to talk to you about it. Anyways, I'm so exhausted. I wish I could just crash, but I've gotten some research to do on these guys. Uh, and I have the mod, the fan site too. It looks like n another all-nighter. Thanks for listening, though. Through all that, though. Okay, see you. I wonder when Okumura will start coming back to school. I know the funeral soon. Must be tough organizing the funeral for a bigwig CEO. Okumura is usually pretty quiet. Do you think she's okay? Hard to believe the dad of such a nice girl could be so evil. I didn't expect this from the Phantom Thieves. That was full-blown public execution. Things are looking rough online. They're just calling us a bunch of murderers. All the celebrities who supported us are being criticized now, too. It's all gone up in flames. People are posting about this stuff everywhere. I highly doubt that anyone who supported us did so, honestly. There must be so many who simply went with the winning side. I get mixed feeling about this when you put it that way. It does make me rethink a lot of things. That aside, we need to deal with our situation first. Our state of affairs continues to worsen. We can't just sit back and watch this happen. Still, we can't make it. We can't make a move when we don't have any leads. What are we supposed to do then? Right around, around when your exams end will be perfect timing. Uh, for what? Don't worry about it. Anyway, just wait and see what happens. Wait, what? For the time being, let's discuss things after our exams end. Oh, there's no way I can focus on exams like this. Can you ever? Hey, are you listening? I'm incredible. <laughs> hey. My charm is already capped. I cannot get any more attractive than I already am. <sighs> Sorry for being sad when things are so chaotic. I know it's been tough after what happened to President Okamura and all. Well, this is the perfect time for small chains of heart. Oh yeah, this shit. Oh. Let's train. By the way, there's something I want to talk about. You're free right now, right? Oh, it's time to max him out. We'll do that in the next episode. Yeah, things are getting pretty crazy here, but see how it all plays out. Bye for now, everyone.